How in the world do demons get inside your soul? Okay, so we've established that, yes, Christians can have a demon, but how do these demons get in? Is it something that I did? Is it something that happened to me in the past? Actually, both. First, we need to know that any form of sin allows an open doorway. This gives demons legal rights to enter the premises and make themselves at home. An example of this would be like through the sin of watching pornography, which leaves an open door for the spirit of lust or something like it to come in. Therefore, continuing to tempt you in sexual sin over and over and over again until it becomes a full-blown addiction. And we know that once like the spirit of lust comes in, we are now more inclined to hide this part of our lives, which leads to lying and deception, more sins. Do you guys see how it's like a slippery slope once the enemy gets his foot in the door? Simple sins always lead to more complex sins. This is why the enemy wants to remain undetected. The demons come out, speak to your mind, entice you to sin, and then go right back into their dark corners. Another way that demons could get in is actually through stuff that you may have had no control over, like past trauma, deaths in the family, uh, car accidents, or even like curses spoken over you that you, didn't, you never even knew about. I know it sounds unfair, but it's still likely, just like in Revelation 12, 4, when the dragon was metaphorically waiting for Jesus to be born to devour him, he may be doing the exact same thing to you. The devil doesn't play fair. He'll use stuff like trauma to instill greater fear in you so that you don't live out the purposes that God has called you to live. But I'm here to tell you that the things that you have been through, the stuff that's completely unfair, these things don't have to own you or limit you. But the devil wants you to think that they can. That's just how you are can be one of the most demonic lies and falsehoods ever spoken over you. If this phrase has any sort of context against what the word of God says about you and your identity in Christ, then it's from hell, period. Yes, our minds and flesh can come up with some crazy things, but if there's ever a thought that goes against God's word, then it's demonic, straight up. So in a video a while back, I told you guys how the enemy can't read your mind. He can only guess what you're thinking by your words and recurring actions. Do you want to understand why the words that you speak hold so much weight? Because the enemy and his minions are ready to listen. They want to exploit your weaknesses and use them against you. But since they can't read your mind, they will instead test your mind and then see what you do as a result. When this happens, they can learn pretty quickly what triggers sin in your life and what can trip you up. You, in essence, become predictable. Since the enemy can't be all places at once, his primary objective is to get you trapped in cycles of sin and not even realize it. If you continue to do it to yourself, then he has no need to do anything else. Your path to freedom starts with removing sin and healing from past trauma. And it may not have been your fault, but healing is your responsibility.